my goodness, it has been so, so long since I have done a video. I've had the craziest, busiest um, winter. It all started back before Thanksgiving. And we have three employees out at work. We have a short, you know, very small um, department. So um, I work in the hospital. We work 12-hour shifts. So there's like six of us. So three of us are gone. So the rest of us are having to pick up the slack. So it's been nuts. So I just, um, I'm finally back to do another stash busting challenge video. And so this month, and the months to follow, instead of doing a specific theme, um, we are just choosing our own um, stash busting challenge. And so what I have decided to do for this month is um, use up my stash of fabrics from fabric books. So I have several of these books, you know, that you get from, um, you know, the fabric sample books. And so I have probably three or four of these that has been sitting down in my drawer for um, probably a few years now. And I, I haven't used them. So I wanted to get them out and um, use them. So I've been trying to come up with ideas, you know, to um, incorporate those into my, my craft. And so this is what I've done. <clears throat> So uh, this started out as a little traveler's notebook cover, and then at the last minute I decided to add um, some signatures and just make it a little mini journal. So what I have decided to do with this, um, you know, I never make journals for myself. I, most all of the ones that I've done have been for swaps and for gifts for people, and so I really I've only made two for myself prior to, and it has been. Um, travel journals for my Ireland trip and for my Costa Rica trip and those are the only two that I've actually made for myself except for my one little book that I used for my um my mm, my odds and ends smash book type thing that I glue my glue book we'll call it um but that's it so this is going to be my book and what I am using this for is for my my vintage pieces that I love that I don't want to use in my giveaway projects, um, like my vintage stamps and tickets and things, pieces that I would like to, to keep to look at for inspiration for later. And um, so this is what I've made. Um, I just used a six by nine, one of those manila envelopes, and I've sewn different pieces of fabric onto here. Um, this is the light, light purple. This is actually a ribbon here. This is some ribbon that I purchased online. Um, and then this piece. And then another little piece of um, lace that I purchased online. Um, and then this I purchased from Esme's um, Crafty Me Shop, which I love, love this applique. Well, it was so pretty. So I've just sort of patchwork that all in there to create this cover and then this of course wraps around like that and ties over here to the side and the way I've bonded I've left this loop here and I'm going to go back and um and make a, a purple bead dangle to hang from there so I'll just give you a little look inside and um, this oh can't remember the name of this collection. Lavender something maybe? But you know, I've had this since it first came out and I've I haven't done anything with it, so I decided I needed to start chopping away at that as well. So I've used a few pieces of it and I've also cut this fabric up to make tabs for my um, journal along with some lace snippets that I have in my bag of um, snippet pieces. And then another thing that I did for my project this month is um, these clips. So Irene had gifted me with these vintage hair clips um, several months ago and I didn't get to participate that month um, that she made some vintage hair clips because I, I can't remember what was going on but something was going on. I was so busy or sick. Maybe it was when I had my kidney surgery or something was going on. I didn't get to participate. But So I have made a couple of these um, altered 
hair clips. I've just attached a few little pieces of lace snippets here for that and they're super cute and they just, you know, they just clip right on here just like that. And then going on with my book. Okay, so um, like I mentioned, I wanted to use this for my actual vintage pieces that like I have several of these tickets but I pulled off one of each of the um the different stacks to put in here for myself these are actual vintage um tickets um I can't find a date on here but they they are old so I'm going to use this for things like that this is from a French winery and um, it is their receipt book, and it's from the 19, the early 1900s. And so I used a piece of that in here. This is an old, old German hymnal, um, which I love. I love to use sheet music in my pieces. And then I've just tea stained um, a couple papers in there. Some more vintage tickets. This is an old vanilla label, an old piece of vintage lace. This is also a French ephemera that's very old. And then this is an actual vintage piece, as well as this milk cap here. And this is the other side of um, the, I, a piece of that French winery sales book. And this, I, okay, so Irene for my birthday this past year gifted me this book. Let me grab it right here so I can show you. It is called A Hundred Gathered Thoughts. And uh, this is so cool. So on the bottom of each page, it has a verb. Each stub um, it has a little message, verbiage, you know, some sort of little quote on the bottom of each page that you can, it's, it's perforated there, so you can pull it off and use it in your projects. And then the pages, they're like, you know, a manila type. And then um, this is what they look like on the top. So I love that. So thank you again, Irene. I love, love this. And so I used a page of that in this book um, for all my precious things. And then in this verse that I put there in the middle. And this is going to be a little tuck spot there. Another other side of that receipt. Here's another one of those little hair clips that I did. Stamp that little bird bird's nest there. My back. Just quickly go through this here. And then, sorry, my husband's on the phone out there. And then um, this is a fold out of the, um, the actual other half of that sheet. And then here's the inside cover. And that is that. Okay, so also... Um, I wanted to show you the other thing that I have been working on, and hopefully I'll have this finished up for next month, but um, I've seen, and I'm thinking maybe Jeanette did one of these. <laughs> I thought this was just so sweet, and um, so I, this, this book, Milton's Prose Works, it was, the cover fell off, so I wanted to use it in a project, and I, but it was just too thin for an actual large junk journal so um this is the binding i mean the um the actual bind yes the um you know <laughs> the fine part of the the book so i cut that off and cut it in two and made this tiny little journal and so i've been working on this as well this is going to be the tie and um so i've just you know started to collect some little pieces to um to put in there so hopefully I'll have this done for next month and this is gonna close like that 
but I thought that was just so sweet. I'm going to decorate a little tin or something to put it in. And then when I get this stitched in, I'll, I'll put some lace over that as well. So that's going to be my little journal. And um, what else? Oh, yeah, here is the old French um, receipt book that I was talking about. And I actually purchased this online from um, uh, Monaghan Papers. I hope I didn't butcher her store name. But she sells a lot of French ephemera, and I love, love her store. So check her Etsy out. Again, it's Monaghan Papers. Um, and so I got this one a while back, and I thought it was just precious. All the beautiful calligraphy. I don't know if you can see that. So pretty. It's from this particular one is from 1928. Oh, just amazing. That calligraphy. Okay, guys. And um, also, I would like to invite you all to go check out Anna's store. Um, it's the Teacup Papery. There's her Etsy. And so I ran over. She is making these adorable, adorable clips. And um, I went over and purchased a couple of these clips for, um, you know, for your planner. And look how cute they are. Ah, oh, they are so sweet. So she embroiders these with her embroidery machine. Oh, my goodness. They are so cute. So please go and check out her Etsy. Um, also, look at this beautiful piece. I purchased this from her Etsy as, as well. And um, this vintage quilt piece, oh my goodness. I could just, can't you just see just so many projects with this. So go check her out. And also, um, go check out Anna and Irene's channel. They will be uploading um, their project today as well. And Christy, our friend Christy, is in London for her birthday week this week. And so we're so happy for her and then following along to see all the pictures she's posted. So, um, but go check out Anna at Stamper's Junction and Irene at Lucia Casso at YouTube. And um, thanks for watching.